The call coming in to first responders last evening, a student volunteer, a firefighter, and a son dying in a car crash in Avoca. He is being remembered at this time. Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. Thanks so much for joining us for AT News at 5. We begin tonight with that tragic story. An Avoca High School student has died, and another student is in critical condition right now after a car crash last night in the town of Avoca. Take a look at this map. You're going to see the crash uh, where it happened just minutes from the Avoca High School on Route 415. It is uh, suspected that the car hit a snowbank and then a pole. That is when 18-year-old Christopher O'Dell, who you just saw there, and three other teens in the car were injured. O'Dell later died while receiving medical treatment on the scene. Another teen is in stable, critical, uh, is in still in critical, excuse me, but stable condition. Critical but stable. Many of Oka High School students gathering today. Uh, hugging each other, being with each other to mourn the loss of their friend and their fellow classmate. Our 18 News reporters Daryl Matthew and Ariel Salk spending the day in Avoca speaking with students and community members about the life of this young man. And we begin with our team coverage. Daryl Matthews, who traveled to the scene of the crash, joins us now live in the studio with what he learned. Good evening, Daryl. Thank you for that, Zach. Family, friends, and classmates of Christopher O'Dell and community members all gathered at the site of the crash as well as the firefighter crews. Now, while waiting for the visual to begin, I ran into a young gentleman who was there directly after the crash. He spoke to me about the tragic look in Christopher's eyes and his last words to him before he passed. Kept telling him to hang in there and to stay alive for his family and everything because we all love him. And he just kept looking at me and grabbing at me. and trying everything he could. Now the moment that the accident happened, Schmeagel said his soul told him to run over to Christopher's aid when he needed him the most to be there for him. And while they all waited for first responders to arrive, Christopher also was a firefighter with Wallace Fire Department. Now I'm going to toss it over to our Corning Bureau Chief, Ariel Salk, who also was on the scene today and spoke with a fellow firefighter family, now live in the studio, Daryl Matthews, AT News. Good evening, Ariel. Good evening, Daryl. Uh, as you said, 18-year-old Chris O'Dell was a firefighter at the Wallace Fire Department, something that he wanted to do since he was a little kid, according to close friends. Some said that being a firefighter was in his blood with several generations of his family members who have worked to protect the community out of the Wallace Fire Department. I spoke to one of Odell's fellow firefighters and good friend about uh, Belinda Connor about how Odell's parents are handling this horrific news. About as well as you know you can expect. They're in shock, like everybody else. They're heartbroken. He was their only child, and he was their world. And Chris very much loved his parents. He always worried about them. He'd say, take care of my mom, watch my mom, you know. And at a fire, he'd say, watch my dad, and because they're both firefighters also. His dad is assistant chief. We're really going to miss him. There will be a benefit for Odell at the Wallace Wesleyan Church on March 14th in order to raise funds for the funeral cost. The funeral will follow two days after on March 12th at the same location. And for more information on Odell or the crash that took his life, please go to our, our website, mytwintears.com. For now, live in the Corning Bureau, Ariel Salk, 18 News.